In order to understand HTTP2, we need to understand the limitation of HTTP11. And that is, you can only send one HTTP request in a given TCP connection. That means, imagine you're going to nationalgeographic.com and all these beautiful resources and images and all that stuff. Guess what? When you have one TCP connection, you can only send one request at a time. That just doesn't scale, right? All the other request has to hold. So HTTP2 came into the picture and said, you know what? We can actually send multiple TCP requ uh, requests on the same TCP connection as long as we give it an ID. So what we did is like we assign a special encapsulation for each request, and we call that a stream. So that each request is now well known to be have its own headers, has its own encapsulation. That's called a stream. So you can multiplex multiple requests in the same TCP connection. That is absolutely powerful. There is usually a default limit to the streams, and that's, I think, 200 by default.